Hello, in this video we'll talk about the clinical benefits of intermittent fasting. If you are wondering what is intermittent fasting, so let me tell you it's a time restricted feeding pattern. When you have a time where you don't eat and you have a time where you eat. So there is an alteration between feeding and a fasting window. There are different ways by which intermittent fasting can be performed and the most popular ones are 18 is to 6 intermittent fasting where you fast for 18 hours and feed for 6 hours time window and the next is alternate day fasting where you switch between a feeding and a fasting day and keep it up for the rest of the week. Now all of these paradigms has their own benefits and pros. In a different video I'll be discussing that. Anyway you can check out my basic video on intermittent fasting by clicking on the i button. In this video, we'll focus on the clinical benefits of the intermittent fasting. We'll talk about how intermittent fasting is helping to reduce weight. It can be beneficial for increasing the lifespan. We would also talk about how intermittent fasting can be good for our cardiac health. Later on, we'll talk about how it helps in stress resistance, how it helps us to improve our cognition ability. Lastly, how it helps in disease management like diabetes management. So all these clinical benefits are based on the review article published in New England Journal of Medicine where Professor Mark P. Mattson summarized all these benefits and he's from John Hopkins University. So don't forget to check out this article which is provided in the description. Let's start with how intermittent fasting helps with weight loss and improves cardiac health. So these days, obesity is a big problem. Our sedentary lifestyle, lack of exercise, work-life stress, and food with refined sugar and eating too much of processed food can lead to these obesity-related problems. And obesity comes with the cost of dyslipidemia or high risk of cardiac diseases. So intermittent fasting can be really beneficial. Let me tell you how. Intermittent fasting is now proven to reduce weight and it helps in obesity management. There are clinical studies which suggest intermittent fasting can also improve the lipid profile if it is followed properly. Imagine you are fasting. Under these circumstances, if your body needs energy, it has to act on the energy reserves. So in our body, in the adipose cells, there is triglyceride, which works like an energy reserve. During fasting, triglyceride would be broken down into fatty acid, which is transferred into the liver, and liver utilize fatty acids and oxidize them to generate ATP, which is the energy. So in order to generate energy and keep our body functional, fat reserves are utilized. So obviously, the result is fat depletion and we would be seeing that our uh, fat reserves are gone. So weight loss is prominent. Next thing is how intermittent fasting can be beneficial for increasing the lifespan. Now preclinical studies in rats have shown that if the rats are uh, in a diet form where they undergo alternate day feeding, that means alternate day fasting paradigm, then their overall survival percentage increases several fold. Similar evidence comes from macaques. So if you feed these macaques with some kind of caloric restriction paradigm or 5 is to 2 intermittent fasting or alternate day fasting, it turns out their, uh, their lifespan has increased. So exactly how lifespan has increased by intermittent fasting is still a topic of debate and intense research but the outcome is pretty amazing now question is whether these kind of preclinical studies are at all valid for human now it turns out if we look at several tribal populations such as okinawa in uh, sentinels in the okinawa island hunza tribe in pakistan and uh, another tribe in the andes mount mountain we would find some striking results all of these tribes has an average lifespan greater than 100 years. And one of the ritual is common in all of these tribes, that is fasting and intense exercise. 
that in turn tells us that the preclinical data that we obtain from mouse or rodents might be true in human as well now human clinical trials are underway and this is an important aspect to understand how intermittent fasting can help us in a healthy aging now one study suggests that there are several types of intermittent fasting which has different outcomes for example when a group of 100 women who are all obese or overweight was uh, put on a diet of intermittent fasting for six months period in one group they followed five is to two intermittent fasting and in one group they follow daily caloric restriction it turns out both of these groups show reduction in weight they have shown significant weight loss and decrease in waist cir circumference but the group which has undergone 5 is to 2 intermittent fasting they show higher insulin sensitivity also they have retained lean mass while uh, reducing the weight so that's pretty amazing and there are many other clinical trials which shows intermittent fasting is quite beneficial so all these links would be provided in the description now next up is how intermittent fasting can be beneficial for our cognition and the functioning of our brain it turns out intermittent fasting can help you to work better focus better and think better that might be pretty confusing to you right but hear me out so there are recent studies which shows that intermittent fasting helps in memory consolidation and it has improved cognitive uh, aspects so how does that happen think about when we are evolving so our food availability was a kind of uh, minimal some day our ancestors get food and some day they have no food so they have to hunt right so in this process they have to be really focused while hunting otherwise they could be also a prey instead of a predator right so it turns out fasting has created some kind of advantages in them such that they can focus better in terms of collection of food and that's how we evolved so far now what really happens during fasting that helps our cognitive benefit when we are fasting there are certain products that are generated in the liver known as ketone bodies such as acetoacetate acetone beta hydroxybutyrate many of these ketone bodies has effects on our brain and these effects are neuromodulatory let me break it down for you so ketone bodies are like reserve fuel so when we fast in an intermittent fasting paradigm our brain runs with these ketone bodies but but when we are feeding our brain utilize glucose for energy production so there is a ketogenic to glucogenic switch in these intermittent fasting paradigm and this metabolic switch is really beneficial while we are on keto then these beta hydroxybutyrate which is generated ad libitum while we are fasting let's say we are fasting for 12 or 16 hours beta hydroxybutyrate levels would go up so beta hydroxybutyrate can increase one neurotropic factor known as bdnf bdnf is shown to be very beneficial for brain it helps to create new neuronal connection it also helps to helps in neurogenesis that means we are making improved connection and making more neurons in our brain and that kind of explains how intermittent fasting can help our cognitive abilities moreover it sh we know right now that our neuronal circuits need to have a steady state firing rate an increase in steady state firing rate or decrease in steady state firing rate could be detrimental for us and an activity sensor might sense these excitability and whenever excitability goes beyond or below a steady state level it can readjust the steady state firing rate and it turns out these ketone bodies can one of, can be one of these metabolic sensors it turns recent research shows that beta hydroxybutyrate can inhibit glutamatergic signaling which is a uh, neurotransmitter signaling re responsible for excite excitability in the nervous system it turns out beta hydroxybutyrate positively regulate KCNQ potassium channels which leads to uh, 
which leads to reduction of the neuronal activity. So overall modulation of the neuronal activity is mediated by the ketone bodies which are produced during intermittent fasting or a prolonged a time of fasting. Now these evidences are not really new. Actually these evidences are found in Greek mythology. So epileptic seizures are one kind of manifestation of electrical uh, electrical uh, disparity in the brain. So epilepsy is a severe disease these days and it was there in ancient Greece as well. So ancient Greek people thought epilepsy as a demonic possession. So in order to recover them, they kind of locked them inside a holy temple. And it turns out after a few days when, the, or when this particular individual comes out, he is kind of normal. Now we understand when he was locked in the shrine, he was fasting. And fasting leads to several keto, ketone bodies, which might have given kind of, a kind of benefits in these epileptic uncontrollable excitability. That is how overall ketone body generation during intermittent fasting is super beneficial for our brain. Now let's talk about how intermittent fasting can help us to deal with stress more efficiently. It turns out when we give our body stress by doing exercise, we generate a little bit amount of ROS. Or when we fasting, we also give our body some amount of stress. So this stress allows our body to recycle things better. Let me explain you how. So prolonged fasting induces a particular cellular process known as autophagy. In autophagy, cell, cellular uh, organelles and uh, proteins which are non-functional gets recycled and all the raw materials are utilized to build up new organelles or new proteins. So this recycle procedure or renovation procedure really helps our body to cope up with stress. Let's say we need a functional enzyme under a stressful situation. So in order to make this enzyme, we need the raw materials, which are the amino acids and peptides. So all of these can come from our diet. But during fasting, we don't have a dietary input of these amino acids. Then how our body cope up with this stress and how does our body make these functional enzymes then our body focuses more on recycling method body upregulates the method methodology of autophagy that means it kind of looks for non-functional protein and recycle them to take the spare parts and build up functional protein in this process not only the body is generating functional protein which is important to fight stress but also it is recycling all the faulty and the garbage protein and this is kind of like a molecular garbage clearing mechanism this is how our body fights if you don't understand these integrate details of molecular uh, biology then let me tell you in a simpler example let's say you have a house and in your locality there is severe rain and storm all the time so obviously your house gets a minute damage every time it rains and you have a nice damage repairing system. You always call the uh, mechanics to repair the damage in your house. So obviously renovation happens very frequently in your area. So you are now better prepared in severe disaster like a tornado or hurricane. So next time there is a damage you can efficiently recover or re efficiently renovate your house because you are trained to do so similarly when we are we train our body with small amount of stress every day then our body learns how to cope up with stress more efficiently and that's what happens during intermittent fasting so we evolved so far but there was a big problem with our evolution our lifestyle has become more sedentary and we consume excess amount of calories because we have a lot of money to buy food right now. We don't have to hunt for food. Now, with a combination of excess food and sedentary lifestyle, we are now obese as a global population. And this comes with the cost of dysregulated lipid profile, increased triglyceride and overall increased risk of your cardiac failure. Now. Let's talk about how intermittent fasting could be good for diabetes control. So 
in case of uh, in case of intermittent fasting it has been shown that uh, cells upregulate the glucose transporters and thereby allows glucose to enter the cell so this is how intermittent fasting could be pretty beneficial for diabetes management where the glucose is actually trapped in the blood circulation and not able to enter any cell types so now this video kind of summarize all the health benefits which are clinically proven so if you like to uh, contribute to my uh, channel you can do that by patreon or let's say do that by uh, bhim upi app if you're an indian viewer if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe do let me know your know your uh, impression in the comment and lastly you can take my courses in an academy by using my code ap10 you can get a 10% discount thank you